while Windows 11 has improved quite a bit since it was first released. One complaint I still see quite a bit in tech forums and comments on our videos is that their computers are taking a long amount of time to start up. So to make your computer load up faster at startup, I'll show you several tested and proven ways to fix the slow boot times in Windows 11. Let's get started. We'll start with the basics first, before moving on to those that are more extreme. The first thing you should do is to make sure Windows is updated to the latest version. So to open the Settings app, right-click on the Start menu in the taskbar and select Settings. Another way to open this is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. It's usually a good idea to keep Windows updated. These updates often include bug fixes and improvements to performance that could reduce the time your computer takes to start up. So in the left pane, go to Windows Update. Here on the right, you may see an update listed. If you do, install it. If not, click Check for Updates. And if there is an update available, install it. For optional updates that could help with your startup times, go to Advanced Options. In Additional Options, select Optional Updates. Then click Driver Updates. You might see Manufacturer Firmware Updates that are listed here along with other updates for other hardware on your system. Just select the ones you want to update. For example, this computer has a firmware update, which could help with boot times. If I were to do this right now, I would select it and select Download and Install. If you have a lot of programs that load up when you start your computer, that could be a major reason why it boots up slowly. Disabling some of those programs you don't need when your computer starts up will help to speed up your boot time. So here's how to do that. Go to an empty space in your taskbar, right click and select Task Manager. Make sure the navigation pane here on the left is open by clicking on the navigation icon. Then click Startup Apps. You'll see the names of the programs, the publisher, the startup enabled, disabled status, along with the startup impact. To disable a program from starting up when you launch Windows 11, left click to select it, then here at the top, select Disable. Do this for each program that you know you don't need at startup. If you're unsure what the program does, it's best to leave it enabled or do a search online to find out what it is. A feature that can make your boot time quicker is called Fast Startup. When shutting down, it does not shut down your computer completely. It puts it in a hibernation state, so when it boots up, those processes are already loaded, making your PC start up faster. Go to Search in the taskbar and type Control. Select Control Panel. Make sure that in the View by, it's large icons. Then select Power Options. In the left pane, select Choose what the power buttons do. To enable Fast Startup, you'll need Administrator Privileges, because you'll see some of these are grayed out. So click on Change Settings that are currently unavailable. In Shutdown Settings, click to check the box next to Turn on Fast Startup. If you don't see this option, no worries. I'll show you in a moment how to make it appear. Enabling Turn on Fast Startup won't affect your boot time when you restart, but will make your PC load up faster after a shutdown. When you're done here, click on Save Changes. For those of you that did not see the option to turn on Fast Startup, you'll need to enable Hibernation. We'll be using a command prompt for this. It's easy to do. Click on Search and type Command. And for Command Prompt, click over here to the right and run as administrator. Type the following command, power, C as in Charlie, F as in Frank, G as in George, slash hibernate, add a space, then on. Hit enter on your keyboard. And with that, hibernation is now enabled. To enable fast startup, just follow the steps I showed you earlier. There may be times a virus, trojan, spyware, or some other type of malware can cause your boot time to be slower and can also corrupt other parts of your system. For this, we recommend periodically running a full system scan with your favorite antivirus or malware program. 
To do this with Windows Security built into Windows 11, go to Search in the Taskbar and type Windows Security. Select it. When it opens, here on the left, select Virus and Threat Protection. You'll see Quick Scan here. Don't use that. Select Scan Options. For the purpose of rooting out any malware on your system, we recommend that you run a full scan to check all files and programs on your drive. So select Full Scan. You may need to scroll down and select Scan Now. I won't be doing this now, but when you run this, it could take an hour or longer to complete. Graphics drivers that are outdated or poorly optimized can cause issues when booting up, so it's a good idea to keep those updated. To update built-in integrated graphics drivers that share power between the GPU and CPU, right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager. Double-click on Display Adapters. There's two graphics cards listed here. The Intel is integrated, and we'll deal with the NVIDIA one later on. Right-click on the graphics card you're using and select Update Driver. If you've downloaded the latest update from the manufacturer, you would select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Otherwise, select Search Automatically for Drivers, and then follow the steps. If you have a dedicated graphics card from NVIDIA, AMD, and even Intel makes dedicated graphics cards that are separate from the CPU with its own dedicated memory, for this you'd open the corresponding software on your computer and install the driver updates from there. We're back in the Settings app for this one. If none of those things I showed you are working to make your boot times faster, you may want to give your PC a refresh to the way it was when you first got it with faster boot times and overall speeds while also keeping all of your personal files on your drive. The factory reset might be what you want. In Settings, with System selected on the left, scroll down on the right and select Recovery. It's a good idea, before proceeding, to make sure you have all of your personal files, pictures, documents, music, files, etc. backed up in the slight chance that something does go wrong. But I've never had an issue doing this, so mileage may vary. When you're ready to move forward, select Reset PC. Selecting Keep My Files will keep all of the personal files you have stored on the drive, but will remove all of the settings, apps, and other programs you have installed. The second option will remove everything. From here, you're on your own. Just follow the prompts. And I've got another one for you coming up. Here's a bonus tip for you. While we do try to give free solutions, that's not always possible. If your system drive on your computer is a hard disk drive and you're able to afford it right now, and you have the technical know-how or know someone that does, it just might be time for you to upgrade to a solid state drive. Instead of minutes, you might see your PC start up in just seconds. And another option might be to buy a new PC where the main system drive is a solid state drive. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped in making your computer boot up faster. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest Windows 11 tips and tricks videos and other tech related stuff right here on Brett in Tech.